Hi, I'm Barry Martin here at the International Club representing Gutshot.com and I'm going to show you some things about cards and poker. So let's have a look at maybe a few finer points of No Limit Texas Hold'em, which is the most popular poker variant on the planet. Uh, played millions of people around the world, both online and in live venues like here at the International. So let's have a look at um, uh, a few situations when it comes to No Limit Hold'em. Um, I've dealt three hands here just to try and highlight uh, the, the real um, interesting ways that certain hands can be played. Now, obviously these, can, these, these hands will be face down, but let's look at the third best possible hand you can be dealt in Texas Hold'em, a pair of queens. So the blinds here are now 15,000 and 30,000, small and big blind, the dealer buttons here with some random hand which we've not dealt out. And first to speak is the pocket queens. Now, a couple of ways you could play this. You could just flat call. When I say flat call, you just basically um, match the big blind bet, which is 30,000, in hope that someone behind thinks that you're not that strong by only calling and then say, right, okay, well, I'm going to raise to try and eliminate this particular hand because I know he's not that strong, because you've, you've feigned weakness. Or another school of thought is that you now want to overplay the hand and not just only raise, like make it 30 and plus 30 to 60, you actually move all your chips in. Um, this case is what, 200 and odd thousand. So you've made a massive overbet. Again, appearing like you don't really want any action with your hand. Um, because usually when people overplay their hands, it's usually a sign of weakness again. And in poker, you want to try and give away as little information as possible, especially in No Limit Hold'em, because um, the game's got to such a level where people uh, go on even the smallest piece of information, whether it be betting patterns, whether it be even personal mannerisms, the way people look, hold their hand over their face, look around, talk to each other. All these things can be picked up on. Um, so it really depends on what your particular table image is. If you're, you're deemed to be quite an aggressive player and you're, all, again, moving your chips in, someone's not going to give you the credit for a pair of queens. Where if you're quite a tight player, which means you, you get involved in very few pots, then moving all in is probably a bad play because you're, you're playing against how you'd normally play. It's always good to give away false information to your other players, to try and play opposite to how they would think you would play. Um, so let's look here. So say the pocket queens do move in. Now, a couple of tough decisions for the, for the small and big blind. Ace Jack, well, he's moved in. It's a lot of chips. He's going to be covering what you've got. You'd probably fold Ace Jack here. Pocket tens, again, it's a tough hand to play. Very likely, they're going to either have a hand that's beating you, like pocket queens, or a hand that you're going to be flipping. When I say flipping, I mean you're going to have like two over cards against pocket tens, which means that once you've run the five cards on the flop, 50% of the time the tens are going to win, 50% of the time the two over cards are going to win. But in this case, you're a, you're a big, you're a big um, underdog with the tens over pocket queens. So, um, in, in summary, Try and be aggressive, try and play your hands in, in a very strong manner. Don't give any, um, try not to give any tells and weaknesses away, but also try and play um, um, tricky sometimes. Try and play against how other people see you at the table. Uh, and that you'll only maximize the way that you play your hands, but you also maximize on hands that um, the other players play as well. So there's some basics for you of uh, Texas No Limit Hold'em.